Hey you guys, so today's video we're going to be doing an Edison doll review, okay? This is a representation of what the actual doll looks like, not the functionality of the doll, okay? So she doesn't have no voice box, she is not a representation of what used to be, like, in terms of, like, functionality, which would have been cool, but they, you know, I guess they have, like, a budget thing happening. And she came from the Edison and Ford um, Winter Estates. It's a museum in Fort Myers, Florida. It's a really, really cool museum. I've seen videos on YouTube and it looks really, really awesome. It's like historical and like old Tommy. I love museums like that. But um, she came from the actual museum, believe it or not. And she was released in 2013 and is no longer in production, sadly. So this doll is from 2013. And unfortunately, they did not add a voice box, okay? So Edison was the inventor too of the first of the light bulb. So he's the reason why we have electricity. And Edison is the inventor of the first talking doll ever. He's the first guy to put a phonograph in the doll and how it would work back in the day. Okay, they had this wax disc, okay? And as you would crank it, the doll would talk. Now these dolls are very fragile and the wax disc, you know, it's wax obviously. So it's very fragile. And it was kind of like a bust, but it was really, really a cool idea. And he was the inventor of that, you know, doll. Allegedly, I'm guessing, the first talking doll, as far as I know. So, um, and this is from the Edison Ford Museum. And be in mind that this doll is very, very tiny. She is the size of a Barbie doll with a lot of stuffing. So the only actual porcelain features that she has is her hands, her feet, and her head. So... Just keep that in mind as you're looking at her. And I only paid about $20. And allegedly she was new in the box. I do not believe that because the way that she was packaged. Usually with porcelain dolls, they have a net over them. And they have some kind of plastic over the hand. Just, you know, I bought porcelain dolls before. I kind of know what they look like. So this is the doll itself. And now this is a representation of what used to be a long time ago. And this is alleged to look like the doll in the casing. Which I do not think it does, but it to me it just looks like a very generic porcelain doll. The original one was ball jointed and could pose and was made out of composition. Obviously, they, they're not going to do that nowadays. She's got huge feathers in the head. She's very, like, historically accurate um, as far as the costuming. She's pretty good, you know. The costuming is really nice. She's got, like, cute little bloomers and the little um, shoes, which is great. She comes on a stand, which is great. I think that this doll had a stand. I don't... No, but she came with a stand. It was already on her waist, so I'm thinking that this lady had her on display for, for a very long time. She got tons and tons of feathers. Um, this is like a crushed velvet right here. She got a little bow and some feathers. I don't know. Just very a generic -y type doll, okay? I wouldn't want to say that. And you could remove her hat. Her hat is not attached. Her hair is a little bit on the crazy side. It's very, very generic -y hair. She has a lot of fillers. So basically, she has long hair on the top, long hair on the bottom, and short pieces in the middle, which is like fillers to make the wig look a lot thicker than it actually is. The wig quality is kind of nice. It reminds me of a Halloween wig, but a little bit softer. You know what I'm saying? But it's a little on the cheap side. But with this hat, obviously, you can't really tell. It's cute. And I may boil perm her. I like to give her some type of style to her hair. But for right now, she's just out of the box she's got straight hair um and then the original doll had straight hair also i think as far as i've seen on the picture but this is a really really cute doll it just reminds me of the carnival dolls that they give you for um winning a prize or something like that just a very very generic doll trying to make a quick buck kind of thing but not it just to me in my opinion it's not a good representation of the edison doll you know like, they could have done way better. They could have made her talking because this is from 2013. This ain't no old doll, okay? I can tell you that. But she is a cute doll. Nonetheless, I will be displaying her and putting her in her in my collection. She's so cute. She's got, like, these little fringy things. Like, nobody's going to be able to tell her this is an Edison doll. They're going to look at her and just think she's a very generic, like, a very generic -y porcelain doll. I don't know. I do collect porcelain dolls, but not very often. I don't buy them very often. Um, this reminds me of a feathered boa, pretty much. That's all it is. This is like a glued-on bow. This is crushed velvet, polyester, full-on head-to-toe. She has, like, this, um, cheapy, like, plastic netting. There's her shoes. They're kind of tied, you know, half-butt tied. I don't know. She's got some bloomers. 
all of this is all stuff and it's like one of them porcelain dolls with the wire on the inside and they stuffed them and they just have like the hands and the head and stuff like that i don't know it reminds me of a doll from collectionsect.com if you've ever been to that website collectionsect.com they had very similar dolls to this on their website it's very to me just a really really cute doll though but the face is kind of creepy. She looks like one of them haunted dolls. That's what she reminds me of. Like ones that you'd find on eBay that's haunted. Like seriously. Didn't she look like one of them haunted dolls on eBay? Um, but if I were to list her on eBay like haunted doll, people would pick this up. Th just thinking that it was. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think of this doll. I think she's beautiful. But as far as an Edison doll, just not a very good representation. I mean, Thomas Edison would not approve, definitely. But she's cute though, very, very cute, just very, very generic. She does have a Velcro closure in the back, just in case you guys were curious. So her outfit is removable, just in case she gets stained, you can wash it. And she's got like a bendy wire thing happening in here, so you could pose the hat however you please. If you want it down, up, she's got a bendy wire in her hat, so you could pose the hat all kind of ways. And this is really, really soft crushed velvet. Um, This is too. Just a little bit on the generic side, but um, let me know what you guys think of this kind of historical doll. She's cute, but she's not an Edison doll, definitely, in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And just remember to like and subscribe, and you'll see more doll videos. Bye!